Hey there everyone, gonna do a little different kind of a video today, got a couple of vehicles uh, that I was lo looking at, one was, uh, I don't know, just a watch list, because it's something new that's a big hype, and another one is just something that I ran across looking through the auction list, and uh, Let's take a look here and see what I got. Uh, so let's start off with this first random vehicle and uh, let me show you what's interesting about it. And there are many cars like this with the same, uh, I'll show you what in a second here. So let's get a camera turned around and uh, let's see what we got. So here it is. The 2017 Yukon Denali has the 6.2 motor in it, which was like a 6.2 motor. Sometimes they good good sales. Uh, the motor looks savable. New alter alternator on top there. Is a well, that's just a power cable or a positive cable there. Um, I don't know the whole history of the motor, but the alternator was replaced, all I see. And it's uh, junk, and not rebuildable, and not available miles, so pulled up here in the uh, auto check. And the last report was 308,000 miles back in 0323. And then I scrolled down and here's the accident damage reports look at this one two three four five severe six seven eight and this is uh eight one was unknown which caused the fire and you scroll down you can look through First accident, right front corner, damaged, wasn't totaled. Second right here, left rear side damaged, wasn't totaled. Third one, moderate damage re reported. Oh, right here, front impact reported, si slight damage reported. So it wasn't severe enough to get it totaled. And here's another one, left rear corner damaged. Rear impact reported, severe damage reported. So this is something bad, something bigger, but it's not totaled yet. Then we go scroll down, all the, oh, just let me see, see what was the history like of maintenance. Registration, registration, registration. Oh, just a regular routine. Oil change looks like oil change, oil change, tires and wheels. And then 17 had a cooling system serviced, steering serviced. And just the usual stuff. 18 had engine serviced with 203,000. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't show what kind of engine service was performed. It could have been a uh, Possibly engine rebuild a new new engine or just a typical Gasket or something you replace. but uh, This doesn't explain it much, but then so you go to next one here accident reported minor damage reported right side damage And then it was repaired bumper and fender repaired then we scroll down, another oil changes, typical routine services. And then 22, another accident with 307,000 miles. So it was uh, right side damage, front damage, let's see, bumper, radiator, grill, fender were repaired. And Auction announced and then a few months later was announced at the auction. And 
then in Dallas, Georgia, let's see, 331. We've got DMV, There's the registration. And then in May of 13, May 13, 2024, total loss was done. And this is 627, is whenever I was already assigned that new title, which unrebuildable. So how much was it? How many accidents was this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight accidents. On the eighth accident, it was totaled. This was a clean title vehicle. And you're gonna tell me that you're looking for a clean title. And then look at that report. This is nuts. It's been damaged all over. Uh, it was repaired, but still. Eight, seven accidents prior to getting totaled. Seven accidents with clean title. And someone's itching about a car with one slight that accident and a salvage title. Yeah. Well, let's see what else we find. And the second vehicle is also here, the IEA auction. So it'd be the Cybertruck. So there's two of them on uh, IAA and so there's one in Santa Clarita, California and one in Seattle, Washington and this one is already got an auction date on it. Au auction date is July 17th, so next week. And look at this. I'm not sure if it, with the black collar, if it it was factory, I never really looked into them about colors, but it's black and uh, pretty smashed, I'd say, for the truck. All the bags are blown. Yeah, I can't even imagine what the cost is for the airbags, the hood. Bumper, fender, um, possibly the wheel is damaged as well, at least this is part of the suspension. Kind of can't see by the frame, so the frame might have some damage on it. Yeah, but it's hard to, to say through the pictures. So there's a scarf on the door. 3,900 miles. So got an interesting key cards. I think there's a, let's see. Let's go to 360 view and kind of get a closer look. So the part, it is a few parts and the door is not aligned right here, see. The gap is off, so the door is pushed back a bit. So it is the foundation series. I'm just not sure. I've seen quite a few of them black, but I, is that something that comes from the factory or I never looked into it, so I'm kind of not sure about it. Uh, I'll have to probably take a look and see. So yeah. And uh, I did a little bit dig digging and, well not digging, but looking up on eBay, some of the parts and the, the parts are just nuts. <clears throat> so needs a dash, steering wheel, knee airbags. 
and the price for it is already at 50, 52,000 actual cash value 122 and it's a bill of sale it's out of washington state so all all vehicles in washington state come with a bill of sale instead of a title so many of the states count this as parts only or unregisterable uh, but in many states you could still register it it depends on the state regulations but this is registerable you could register the bill of sale, but it will depend on which state you're in. Uh, but for Washington state, this is normal. Every single vehicle they go, that is a uh, Washington vehicle comes with a bill of sale. Maybe except a few vehicles, out of state vehicles, those come with a salvage certificate or title. But this is the Washington thing. So, so yeah, 52,000 already on it and uh, a week to go we'll keep an eye on it and see what the final bid is so i think if i'm not it's oh it's a run and drive as well so if i'm not mistaken this is the first one that's going to be ran through the auction salvaged because there were a few of them that were clean title just uh someone Listed him on Copart just to get rid of him, I guess. So let's see, kind of on eBay, see what kind of parts are available for this. So I clicked on Cybertruck parts. So let's see what pops up on here. Actually, let's select the eBay Motors and. Parts and accessories. Kind of, kind of narrow it down. Okay, so bunch of random stuff. Roof rack, side rail. Don't need that. So there's a headlight. Eight hundred seventy-nine dollars. Daylight two thirty-three. Oh, not too crazy bad on those. Bumper cover eighteen hundred. Windshield wiper two sixty nine. Uh, sale applic. Those are kind of random pieces. Trunk thousand. Uh, control arm four fifty. Fender flare four fifty. Headlights 935. So, actually, th these are not too crazy bad because looking the I was looking a few days ago, the prices were a little bit different than some of the items. 1800 for the front bumper. 1800 for trunk, or the front. Sorry. Yeah. So there's only a few parts that are available. And. Uh, so getting some of the parts is gonna be might be a little bit challenging i don't know uh never looked into it yet but see there it is the first salvage auction run cyber truck there was the other one that uh all the uh, boosted boys got it and uh, there was I think that was the only one that was sold so far. But, uh, yeah, it's very gonna be interesting to see what it goes for. Since on the resale right now, they're about low hundreds. They're not making much money on them. They're just kind of breaking even reselling them. So, in the next video, I'll try to do a little kind of update, see what it goes for. So thank you for watching, till next time, so long.